so good morning today is tuesday which means it is the last day of the weekend i'm here in roots because they are prepping for an event tonight kind of as like a pop-up and they're doing like a really big special dinner so look they're like prepping everything for dinner here obviously like i only had like a couple days off and isabella and uh, Florian are super busy also with today so I rented this bad boy Ta -da! this super cute scooter and I thought it would be fun to go on a little adventure maybe go check out the sea or like have an ice cream in like oh, Toronto which is a city close by so yeah on y va made it oh my god guys i literally thought i was not gonna make it and i was like completely lost and i was like you know what maybe you should go home but i didn't but look at this i arrived at this like beautiful castle and then we can go for a little walk in old town i'm here in the harbor i'll show you guys look at this I really wish Max was here. Rise and shine. It is 8 a.m. and I'm on the way to Roots, which is Floriano's and Isabella's second restaurant, which is like an tr old trattoria. And it's a little bit more like casual. I finished over the last three weeks at uh, at Rose Restaurant, and honestly, guys, this was like an experience. Wow, such hard work! It was insane, insane. I'm super excited. It almost feels like this is again the first day of school. You know, you kind of don't know what to expect. Like you're you're the newbie in the group, and you have to like just figure it out. <laughs> I'm always like excited for these things and I know for a lot of people, you know, trying new things out uh, can be like very scary but in moments like this I would just give a tip to like let it all happen, keep an open mind, just do it, nothing to be scared of and you know what it is, like I'm here to learn and everyone knows, the team knows I'm here to learn and that I have never worked in a professional kitchen so that really helps because I don't feel pressure and it's okay to mistake, make mistakes and I should make these mistakes and I make them every single day. I think I've never made so many mistakes in my life as here in the kitchen. But uh, that's how we grow. Anyway, I'm gonna walk to Roots and I'll show you guys around a little bit. I might be able to film a little bit more here. In Bros, unfortunately, that was not possible because it's like so strict, but... Um, here might be better. Hey, Keto. Hey. So when we arrive in the kitchen, we start prepping all the ingredients for the lunch and the dinner serving. Once the guests are here, every dish can be made very quick because everything is ready to go. So I just finished my first morning here at Roots and it was so much fun. I finally got to touch and like work with ingredients and like with, with eggplants, with tomatoes. So every day they kind of have like a different menu team. So Sundays is pizza, so we always have pizza here. Pasta was today, on Wednesdays we have fish, so it's like switching off, but I really feel like here I'm learning about like, you know, traditional recipes and stuff. This has been a lot of fun. And finally, you know, the basics I kind of learned at Bros about being in the kitchen and stuff, I can like apply here. This is kind of like what I imagined going to Italy and cooking. This is what I imagined. 
So it is funny though to see like the difference between, you know, being in a Michelin star restaurant and being here, which is way more like loose and like rustic and the way they treat the ingredients and also just already the vibe. It was good to do the other stuff too and to like really, really learn that because you're kind of in such a strict environment forced to do these things right. Where here, if you skip steps, especially at the beginning in the learning process, like you don't learn it as fast. So definitely a big difference. That don't. Them. Anyway, I'm going to get ready for round two because tonight we're having dinner and yeah, this will be fun. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna get one of these aprons. See how dirty it is? Yeah, it's a lot of hard work. Oh. Alrighty, I'm going to show you guys around quickly here in Roots, show you guys the kitchen. I think now we just like prep some stuff and then obviously after everyone needs to wear that like, face mask when you know when we're working with food and those kind of things so this one here and we're ready to go oh my god i look so tired today Alrighty, so let me show you guys quickly. This here is the inside of Roots at the moment. Here is where guests are going to have like lunch or dinner. This is obviously the outdoor. Simone is like prepping. Ta-da! Here we got the kitchen. Here we got like all the, the fresh bread is ready. And we got some over here. This is kind of the station where I was working and over here is the oven. This is really hot by the way. I think it's during the day when it's on the hottest, it gets like 500 Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So I don't even know what that Fahrenheit is, but it's a lot, a lot. So around 11, 11.30, we're having like staff meal. That will be your first meal of the day. And often this is like pasta or something. Actually, I see the plates already there already. So we eat all together and then obviously we serve lunch so we basically eat before the serving. Seven, we have dinner again and around like eight, nine. That's where the guests come tonight again. So it's a uh, cool. So they're basically now grabbing the wood. This will go into the oven and this will like catch fire in a little bit. See how still like rustic and real this is? Whoa. This is how we're getting this like, amazing flavor. Most of the vegetables are locally grown in the garden next to roots. We're using authentic Italian ingredients, fresh and full of flavor. And we prepare them with different types of cooking techniques. Ooh. Oh my God, it is very hot in the kitchen. The lunch is ready and oh my God, today looks absolutely fantastic. I think every day is really good. This is one of the perks of having lunch in one of the best restaurants here. We always have like fresh ingredients and we often use like leftovers from the night before and we whip a new yeah, a meal for us. So we got some octopus salad. This is made out of the leftover spaghetti from yesterday. Leftover fish. I mean, this doesn't even look like leftovers. We got some greens, frittata and bread. And this, guys, is the best bread in the world. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so how are we doing so far in the kitchen? Tutto pronto. Tutto pronto. Tutto pronto? <laughs> It needs to go up completely. Yeah, you should have. Uh... It's gonna be like. 
Oh, there we go. These are actually really strong and I kid you not, I'm starting to drink like some sugar here in the coffee because it's so, so strong. And as you can see, it's also really, really tiny, but it is delicious though. Um, but you're probably wondering, so what my role is here in the kitchen? I basically help everyone here. So everyone has their different station. Like the head chef is mostly in like the bread. We have someone who's doing on the stove, like pastas. We have someone like cutting veggies. And I'm basically helping everywhere. And me just being in the kitchen and like working with these ingredients like I learned techniques on how to like cut them, how to prep them and obviously I get so much inspiration for recipes and I see the right technique on how things are made and like I get new ideas that's basically my rule here I'm like an all over like help I'm gonna finish this one I'm gonna be starting working in the kitchen So chef and I are gonna work on secret recipe. <laughs> We're gonna make a carrot cake and this carrot cake is bomb. And I'm gonna make a couple twists to make a little healthy and I'm gonna share this with you guys too, but it is delicious. Carrots ready. And the recipe. Okay. Smash. Yes, okay. Alright, one orange outside. Not, uh, not too much fun. Uh, wow. Two babies. <laughs> Making pasta was one of the things I really wanted to learn. And I'm gonna be honest, it is so much harder than it looks. I had to practice for two days and after rolling a hundred pieces of dough, I finally got one right. I guess practice shows results. Alright guys, tonight is going to be my last evening here in Roots. I will go tomorrow morning too because we're gonna make bread and I will do the lunch service but tonight is gonna be last dinner and there are gonna be like 25 people. It's gonna be really really busy so we're kind of tired but we're all like ready and um, yeah, it's just gonna be a bit of a last push. It's just crazy how we're what I'm trying to say, you see, I'm just like so tired. <laughs> but for some reason, I'm able to like push through it and um, yeah, still be energized. And I do know like when, when it's really busy, it actually goes really fast. So um, yeah, a lot of tables tonight. I'm going to get ready. I will see you guys in the kitchen. When the evening clock hits, the craziness starts in the kitchen. Everyone is in position and the servings go out one by one. We make sure every dish is freshly prepared for every guest. So guys, I think it's 1 a.m. or 12.30 and we finished Almost every day we finish this late. It is crazy. Normally I'm in my bed already for a couple hours and <laughs> I'm like sleeping. And now we're, you know, I even notice when I go for dinner, especially when I'm abroad and on a holiday, you leave, but then around like 12 or 11, but obviously the kitchen still needs to clean. And uh, yeah, that's what's happening. They're actually prepping the pizza dough for tomorrow. I can show you. Tomorrow morning I'm waking up really early because the chef and I are going to do the bread because he does bread every single morning. Like, this is dedication, guys. Going to bed at 1 a.m. being ready at 7 a.m. for bread, which is, by the way, the most delicious bread in the world. I'm gonna give you guys a quick big zoom. Like five hours of sleep but today is my um, 
very last day and I decided to come early today because the chef and I are going to bake the bread. I'm just gonna put my bag away. Keeping the order. Hey, Gato, the bread. Yes, every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Ready? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it smells so good. Wow. Wow. Look at these beauties. Mm. Good morning. Today is Monday, which is a free day, and I'm just like catching up on some emails because obviously, besides I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> Still have like a little bit of work honestly these days we just used to like hang out and we're really like chill so isa is cooking some lunch today let's see what she is making for us isa what's on the menu today this is always what she says and it tastes Amazing. Easy is like amazing. <laughs> normal food. Normal, really good food. Ciao, Floriano. Oh, what's for lunch today? Oh my god, I am in a pizza hangover. Does that exist? Yeah, too much. Too much. I have to say, Floriano and Isabella feed me really well here. <laughs> So I guess we're here at the end of my trip in Italy. I think I've never had so much pasta in my life, but it was all worth it. I was welcomed by Isabella, Floriano and their team with such a warm and open heart. The patience they had to let me experience real Italian cuisine, the culture and the kitchen is something I will always remember. I will take all the knowledge and routines I've learned in the last month back to my own kitchen in LA which is actually currently under renovation. Something I learned and I wanted you to think about. You can only grow if you're willing to feel uncomfortable and when you try something new. Find your passion and convince yourself that you have no limits. Because when is the last time you did something for the first time? Let me know in the comments down below. For now, ciao Italy. Hopefully see you back this summer.